Jesus aos. Oh. Okay. Go in the hole. Stay away, you're not my son. What? Why? Why won't you fall? What? They never mention anything about parents. I mean, we, I'm, we've met Kellen and what's his names? Oh yeah. Mom leaves the voicemail. We met Kellen, um, Hero's parents. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventures may be disparate. But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier. Then to a library, banished deep underground. And after that, to an old barn on a distant planet. And this time it will be in the heart of a vast forest. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells they will continue to evolve, and each time they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried with it, carried it with her to her grave. What? Death may, no, may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily many times your friends have met with an unfortunate fate although they are revived time and time again the most haunting stay in this world even if only their bones remain the long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing you have forsaken yet them yet they still yearn for your care their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? What? Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee, you could not bear for her to die again. So she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect. And when she does, 
she will leave you again and be born anew with the undying soul that you have cursed her with. The souls assigned to your friends, they are fragile and must be protected. And so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering. But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though, has not shown its true self. Though it has not shown its true self as evil, you will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn, to the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Welcome to Black Space. Okay. No idea what's going on. But I do know that I need to save my game. Um... Everyone's still working at that damn resort. <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna have to stop here. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to stop here. And then we're gonna, I guess the first place I'm gonna check next time is down, down the road towards ba uh, Basil's house. Oh, there's the ghosty figure. Oh, come on. They're all dead? <coughs> I watered the last time I was able to. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Alright, let's water them. Dude! Um... Uh... Guys... I know there's multiple endings in this game. Did, am I, did I get the bad ending? I tried my hardest. I'm fine? Okay. Jesus. Man. I don't know. I don't know anything about like what you need to do to get whatever endings, but 
I just, I know there's multiple endings. That's all I know. Um, welcome, Shaggy. Welcome. Zanzibar, thank you for gifting a sub to Stammering TV. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Oh. helps Basil stay positive, but Mari's gone. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange roses symbolize passion, Yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I just, I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. type of flower called the gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character, someone who is honest with strong moral values, someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Please live. Live, live, live. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Even the cacti died. I think. Oh. And these... These are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small. Not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in another way, I guess I would say that... They're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect, just like Sunny. Looks like the trees are closing <laughs> in on me, but I think it's just an optical illusion. <coughs> okay, is this where things start going crazy? Like batshit crazy? Oh, oh, Mari. I'm scared. Let's... Let's go back. No. Small plants, they look a little sad. 
We gotta go forward. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. Well, at least we landed in water. Mari. Oh, geez. A black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Are we going into the black space? Welcome to black space. Each letter is a key. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. A loose wire. There is no light bulb here. Sure. These rooms are full of broken things, but at least in here I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one, did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. So much pain, so much pain, so much pain.
There's like feet. There's legs back here. Okay, well, I got my key. You are far away from home. Everything's all broken. Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you locked away, you must find it no matter what. You have to, for the both of us. I guess there's not really much else I need to do besides finding the keys in these places. Are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. Are you looking for someone or something? Oh my. Okay. Very visually interesting and unnerving. Oh. This place seems a little nicer. And that's crazy to say it, because look at it. <laughs> it doesn't look nice at all, but in comparison to some of the other places we've been, it's very nice. doorbell. What is this? Oh, what is this? When you hid the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. 
Which one do you think was more painful? Huh? There's so many doors! dark fact again liar 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 sunny i love you oh god sunny i love you this stuff get here? My sketchbook. Nothing but static. Should we look? been very very bad you got a key miwo stares at you she does not know what is happening do you want to cut up miwo no no i don't 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 miwo is not steak They're gonna make me do it? I don't want to. <coughs> what did Miwo do? Miwo is just a cat. In the end, you can't blame him. Mochi does very, very bad things sometimes, but at the end of the day, he's just a cat and we just forgive him. Miwo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. No. No. Give me another option. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Fine. She tilts her head out of curiosity. No. <laughs> You're gonna ask me again. No. The answer is no. They're really going to do a are you sure when it's literally my only option? Demented. <gasps> uh. Uh. 
if I if I stab Vince, if I stab myself, is it gonna fuck something up? Am I gonna regret it? Is it gonna mess with what I'm doing here with all these keys? Maybe it won't let me. It's not gonna fuck anything up? Okay, probably nothing will happen. Let's see. Oh. Miwo lives. I mean, I got the key, right? So... Yeah. I don't have to cut up the kitty cat. I don't want to do that. Hi, Wonka. What's up? <gasps> it's the flower wreath. Got a flower crown. All this watermelon violence. For no reason. Oh, Mori, you came back for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Growing watermelons here has been... <coughs> been fun, but I really miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> well, I tried. But I won't cut up your watermelons anymore. Watermelons sure are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. Huh? <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? I don't think you're the real Basil. I wish you were. Maybe I do have to cut up the watermelons. Maybe there's a key in one of them. I mean, he's not protesting about the watermelon cutting, so... one really fucked up head this mind that we are inside or whatever this is Don't talk to me. Okay. I'm sorry. Satellite dish? Oh, 
I don't know if there's a point to what I'm doing, but I'm doing it just in case. Friends who have suffered because of us, can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sunny? We're not done with these. We're, we, as long as we keep getting keys, I think we should keep going through these black doors. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Amori. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Phew, that feels so much better. <coughs> I can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here... I can finally go home! Lead the way, Amori! You know... I think spiders are really misunderstood. They might look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening, since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. I remember a while back, you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder just as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that the spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise that you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. <laughs> uh, why are you looking like all like that? There's so many spiders all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello? Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend, Basil. Oh, those are spiders. Oh. What are these things flying around? Ah, they're biting me. Oh, I'm probably just scaring them. There, there, spiders. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, no. It's getting creepy. Oh, there's so many spiders. There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Oh, Amori. Omori, please, help! Uh, a dead spider. It has passed from sadness. What the fuck? I have no idea what's going on. No idea. Well, here's one. Oh, there's still at least one more, too.
miss you, Sonny. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. My problems, my hopes, my dreams, you knew them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. A sunflower. A daisy. <laughs> A single daisy. There's still all these. And these? There's so many. Hero, but no face. And all our friends are cut in half. Oh, this is super pleasant. Kel, why are you so fast? Kel. who is closest to the truth, whose eyes glow an eerie red. I've seen what you've done to him before, and pray that you don't find him again. What? Redemp I didn't know I could talk to these. Redemption is hidden among one of these doors, but it will never open for you in that form. You will have to find another way in. This place has changed a great deal since you were last here. Will you be able to find your way back, or will you finally lose yourself? Without keys of your own, we are forced to, of our own, we are forced to wander endlessly here. Those doors will not open for us. We are not as fortunate as you. Has the flower boy lost his way here to save him again? How fortunate for him. Behind these doors lie rooms made of scattered fragments, forever changing. If you are lost, you need not worry. The red hands will guide you. And the form you have taken, it cannot die here. With great power comes great burden for yourself and for the people closest to you. Who are you protecting and is it worth it? I don't know. <clears throat> Let's rate the bed. You took a nice nap. Well, oh, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten bed. <coughs> Any bed that you can take a nice nap on. Arkel, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I've missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Omori. Oh, the treehouse. Oh, it's spooky. Cat. Toast. Toy. 
book. Toy. 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 TV. Toy. Game. Cards. Cookies. Friend. Um. Elevator? An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. Where do you want to go? Um... Uh... Vast forest? This is just a really long elevator. Uh, actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you, Amori? Yeah, what is it? Um, um, your head is stuck? Hold on, Amori. I think I'm stuck. Can you help me out? Um. Um. What the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Mori. What the fuck? Um. I'm just gonna go. I deeply wish that your friend's soul is born uncorrupted. We know too well what fate will befall him otherwise. Then I wanted to save what was left, but even after everything, you left me, Sonny. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting and I want to cover my face and hide. There are many things I want so many things I want to say to you. <coughs> but the words won't come out. I just I waited so long for you to come back, Sonny, but you never did. An empty fish bowl. I just stepped on a fish, didn't I? Go through the red one last. This one seems nice. I'm sure this one won't be creepy at all. Look, there's Basil. So happy. Amori! Psst! Amori! I'm right here! 
Ta-da! Surprised to see me? I've been hiding out in this stump since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you would come save me, Amori. And I'm sure we will be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Okay. <coughs> hey, Omori, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? No, the game just won't let me respond to you. I'm sorry. I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. But at least we have each other. <laughs> Actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Oh no, he, you're gonna die right now. Aren't you? Where's your head? Halloween time. Oh, whoops. Oh god, 13 years, bad luck. like really unpleasant sounds right now it's getting darker ah! Ah! what the hell oh my god oh should we take the key now yeah i think we should just take the key now Get me out of here. <gasps> Beds! Can we rate them? Oh no, we're late for school! And we don't even go to school anymore! Two more to go. Two more to go. <coughs> Mari is here. Aubrey is here. Kel is here. Basil is here. Hero is here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
one more to go. Last one. Oh, this one seems nice. Now this one really does seem nice. I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. Yay. What could possibly go wrong? time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped me keep my hopes up. I feel like there's some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero anyway? I hope you all don't worry about me too much. I can't wait to see everyone again. Hero? Is that you? Amori, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was here already. There's chicken floating. Uh-oh, things are getting weird. Oh god. Jesus. Get me out of here. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Kel! Aubrey! It's so good to see you guys! How have you been? Did you miss me? W wait What? What are you guys doing? Oh... Guys, that's not how you play. Oh, God. Hi, Amori. Oh, God, look at her face. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. <coughs> Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Man. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think they'd get tired of it after a while, but they're both just so full of energy. Right. I'm gonna throw myself in the river now. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Please get me out of here. Snakes. Snake hands, take me away. Thank you. Okay. One more door left. I think. Uh, let's take our first break. <coughs> before we go into this door because it's been an hour 
I'll be quick. We're basically 30 minutes. 29 hours, 59 minutes, 54 seconds. 30 hours. Make sure for one last time there's nothing new. Okay, same stuff. I'm sure things are going to get nice and happy from here on out. <coughs> Statue of religious figure. Feel like it is judging you. Ah, a hard frozen steak. Would you like to eat some? But there's no microwave. gonna break a tooth. Well, we're gonna die now. I will save again. Yes. 30 hours. This, what's his name's house? <coughs> Maybe it's a church? Oh, it's a church. Pitter patter, pitter patter. The truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time, we can face it together. Sunny, why did it end up, end up like this? I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Do you want to save Basil? Yes, I do! That's all I want to do. out there it's calling me and it's calling you too let's go together um there's no light bulb here Finger. Finger? Playing Elden Ring again? Man, they're, they're really nailing the atmosphere in this section of the game here. A little bit too well, don't you think? I'm... 
I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please. It hurts. Tell them to let go. But wait. What are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me. What the fuck? Are we a serial killer? Like, what's going on? Whoa, hands. weird dream okay okay we're back where it's safe right hell sleeping and heroes playing the piano was it in here were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd locked myself away on the piano. All that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play it that last recital. Did you want to play it with me now? Whoa! Whoa, you scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You heard it too? You must miss- you must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us. The way she did. Chose to? But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Okay. Well... She chose to leave us. That's important information. <laughs> there was.
was something behind before. What the fuck is that? Any ramen in the toilet? This is creeping you out, Justinian? Me too. A little bit. I don't want to go back to sleep. My dreams are hella weird. Maybe it'll just be morning. One day left. what mom wants hey sunny it's mommy tomorrow is the big day the movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning i gave them the keys so don't freak out if you see them remember to finish organizing your things today i'll be picking you up in my car out front just come outside when you're ready okay that's it for now mommy loves you bye honey Bzz. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. That is such a hero thing to do. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. That, that is also so hero. <laughs> is nice. And bacon? The top of the morning, Sunny. You better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> Who could that be? I'll go get the door. Sunny, you better eat some bacon while you can, while the coast is clear. It's you! You? Is that Aubrey? I don't know who else it would be. What is all this? What the heck, Kel? I mean, why would she be here, though? Hold on, I gotta get some bacon. Oh, well, I guess bacon can wait. Oh, it's, um... Is this girl? Huh? What's going on over there? Dang it, Kel! Now I have eggs all over me! Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, um, I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering her door. Or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. 
We weren't the one when... You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you. She's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today is our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one to do the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us to help. You're a good friend. Huh? Uh, sure. Whatever. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Uh, okay, then. See ya. <laughs> Just, how did she get eggs on her? Okay, let's go. Yo, Sunny. Thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five! Yeah. High five. High fives for everybody. All the high fives. Alright, they want to see Aubrey first. Are you sure we can't see what's going on in this crazy house, though? Okay. Fine. Don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. Aubrey isn't feeling well? How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must track him down at once. Aubrey was supposed to watch the new dance I made up today. Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? Uh, guys? I can't get through. Is this her house? Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh! It looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Uh, I have such a bad feeling. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, there's someone watching TV. Trash is strewn across the floor. Oh, okay. Hello? Aubrey's mom. She's just... Just watching TV. Okay. I'm just gonna go inside your house. Okay. This place is not great. Oh, a bunny rabbit. We gotta kill it. Hey, Aubrey. How are you feeling? Oh, she doesn't look like she's feeling that great. What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine! 
I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You... You and Basil and everyone here. You were my best friends. All right. All right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Uh... <laughs> I think it's a little bit, um, worse than that. <coughs> Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're... They're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sunny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sunny... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? That's... kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Hero took the photo album from you. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Okay. Do I have to pick the right order? while. Where did these go again? Why don't we just ask Sunny? Yeah, Sunny. You still remember, right? You always had a great memory. Uh, okay. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Oh, here we go. There's some more music stuff. put them anywhere. Oh, it shows me. Oh, thanks.
There's so many. I think what we're learning is a lot of the photos have have Mari in them. do all of them hold on my first photo it's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin he's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari <coughs> so exciting it's my 12th birthday today I thought my friends forgot but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake I feel so lucky this year is looking to be a good year Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me this photo album and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Mari and Hiro fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Hiro and Mari washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying over with Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. So Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. Me showing Sunny... <coughs> we already saw those ones. Um, me show... I mean, we've seen this one too, but... Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Oops. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep, except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Ahem. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with tape later. That pet rock. I caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel doing Mari holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so too. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. 
It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. So, I think all the photos with Mari we saw at the beginning of the game. Mari bought everyone pos popsicles, one of every flavor, at least some of them. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. All of her shoes in a circle. Can you guess whose shoes are whose? Um, I don't really want to. <laughs> it's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared. <coughs> I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easily. Hmm. I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Oh my. Hero's sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be getting her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hiro. They look so happy. They do look so happy. A match made in heaven. Yay! Sunny is turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are all in the same year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Oh, yeah. They got him a building block set. Miwo. Mari says this beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero is too grossed out to look. All of us hanging out in our brand new treehouse. Looks like Sunny is finally reading from the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. Space boyfriend. We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. I'm playing cards with Kel, Hero, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Looks like I have the winning hand, <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are all up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, summer. Until next year. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari and Sunny's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will be showing them showing our support from the audience it's not gonna be just fine mari getting a little camera shy because she made a small mistake don't worry mari just keep going no one will even notice after some begging sunny came to join mari for recital practice <laughs> they're still working out some stuff but they already sound so amazing i know they're going to be great Go, Mari! Go, Sunny! You can do it! That's it. That's it. 
Hi, ADHD. How you doing? Hi, Faye. Hi, Vampire. Hi, Bale. Hi, Faye. Rabo. How am I liking this game? It's, um... It's making me nervous. I'm done. Yeah. There. Now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? <laughs> Freaking hero. Come on now, he come on hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get you out of this house. Huh. Okay. Aw, that's cute. Aubrey's bed. No comment, huh? An empty cork board. This is where Aubrey kept the photos of Mari. A side table is being used to cover up a hole in the wall. This house needs to be quarantined. A bucket, useful for rainy days. Bun Bun. Bun Bun! We won't kill Bun Bun. Oh. The nice music is gone. Guys, I think maybe we'll just, um... Maybe we won't play anymore. Like, maybe we'll just stop here. That's... That could be the end of the game. Yo, Aubrey! Are you okay? Hey, Kim. I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys! Guys! Aubrey is here! Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened back there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Eh, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow. I promise. Uh, okay, we'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Alright, well, we went to Aubrey's house and she was fine. So I'm sure Basil's gonna be fine too. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. 
What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. Don't fucking do this to me! God damn! <sighs> I mean... It's, it's not a good thing that his grandma is in the hospital. Let me make that clear. But I am a little glad <laughs> that it's, it's her, not him. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday morning. Oh no, I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? <coughs> I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care about... Cares so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Y yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See ya, Polly. Okay, see ya. Okay. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? Deliver pizzas! I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sunny? What did you want to do today? Deliver pizzas! It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Sunny. Okay.